you know who would be yourself up.com. This video would be about the best job for men who are interested in an entrepreneur route lifestyle. So let's say you have a goal in mind, a job, an ambition of sorts for financial independence, for status, for opportunity, whatever the case may be. This job here in mind that I've been doing personally is by far the best. Whether you're a guy who has a lot of work ahead of him, likes to work extra hours at night, wants to find contacts, wants a different job experiences so he doesn't get bored, or needs to work on a computer a lot, or wants the flexibility to work and pick and choose when he work, when he doesn't work, what time, what day, how long, over time's a choice. Under 40, 40 hours is also a choice. Basically, it has every freedom aspect someone would want if they are an entrepreneur. Because this job will allow you to work on your own things. And it's not really that hard of a work, honestly. And the only qualifications is run a two week course. Afterwards, you can get a license. And with the license, you can sign yourself up for agency and you work this job at different areas, departments, sections of cities, places, stores, clubs, etc. And now, I'm sure you're probably wondering what the fuck I'm talking about. Some of you probably guessed it. Yeah, I'm talking about security. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the fuck? What does security have to do with entrepreneur? We'll see. I work security. Now I want to work security because there are three things I cannot stand about jobs. One, the basic repetitiveness of it. The same shit every day, day in and day out. Something about it just makes life so fucking boring. With security, you have the opportunity and the choice to decide where you want to work, how often you want to work, what site you want to work. You want to work with three different agencies? You can. You want to work nights, afternoons, morning? You can decide that. You can decide where you want to work. You can for, you can refuse certain jobs. If you don't like that place, if you don't like working at jobs where you're standing all day, you can get only office work jobs where you're sitting at a desk, you do patrols, and you go back and sit on the desk with your computer, do whatever you want for a certain amount of time, then go back and make a little patrol. Reason number two. It pays pretty good, and it doesn't require any extent experience. The minimum pays like, what, $19? It can, go, it can go up to $21 to $25, depending on the events, depending on your experience, depending on if you ask for a raise or for a higher position. Some companies have higher positions in security where you get paid more, and you do a little bit more, so you, have, you have to do more, basically, in the events. That's not the best for someone who's working on his computer and working on his own things, but yeah, you have the choice of that. So you have better pay. You have the opportunity to work in different places that you want, when you want, how often you want, with whatever company you want. And the last but not least, you get to work on your own things. In the meantime, of course, some jobs, some sites are better than other ones. See, I work night shifts, therefore I am alone most of the nights at my shifts. And if you work at events, you want to have this opportunity, but if you work in places that are, you're just alone or with someone else, it doesn't matter really. You bring a computer with you, your phone with you, and there's Wi-Fi, connect to the Wi-Fi, and boom. Now you do your shifts or do whatever job it is, whether it's watching over a door, I've done that. Whether it's watching over cameras, making uh, watching over a building or a car, whatever the case may be. You are, you are free to do whatever you want in the meantime. Work on your computer, work on your business, make some calls, send some emails, read a book, watch Netflix, play video games. I don't give a shit, but this is more for guys who are working on their purpose, who are on the entrepreneur path. Because goddammit, when I work a job and I cannot work on my own shit, all that goes through my head is, I really want to work on my own things. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. Oh, I should do that. I'm going to do that later. 
And by the time you get back home, you're fucking tired. So you want to work on yourself too. And you might work on them, but you won't have that much time. Imagine the amount of work you can get done. Get paid more than most people. The job is not really hard at all. If you're someone who's physically weak or has injuries, security is great. Get jobs where you sit at a table, sit at a desk with cameras or something, and entrances of buildings or clubs or whatever. You don't have to move around much. If anything happens, your job is not to interfere in a physical way. It's to try to de-escalate and then call the police if it escalates. You don't grab anyone or fight anyone. Unless you're working in clubs or bars. In that case, you have to be more physical if someone is being disrespectful, is drunk, or being very aggressive. But even then, you call the police, they show up, they handle it. Yours is the eyes and ears for your employer and for the client. The hired, your agency that hires you. So imagine the amount of progress you can make. You're working on your own stuff. Let's say you work on, a, on an online business or consultation business or whatever or you work on copywriting or e-commerce or you have to send a lot of emails or work on websites for clients it could be anything your choice you can work on those things while you're working at a job so you're getting paid to work on your own things which is going to get you even more money that's like two or three birds with one stone and it only takes two weeks of very fucking easy exams and courses two weeks you get a license boom you grab an agency boom working barely working sure some places are better than other ones that's obvious but the opportunity here of working jobs where hell fuck you can work at certain places and sites where you can make lots of good contacts work at fancy places lots of cute girls to approach lots of high influential people to talk with and you also talk with other guys who are in the same department as you and a lot of guys who are working on their own shits or want to be financially free or ambitious work in security because security there's lots of departments and it works every fucking little skill inside of you as a man can you raise your voice can you calm down a situation can you socialize can you handle stressful environments can you be polite can you be aggressive can you be calm it works every single department. Of course, if you're working night shifts where there's no one and there's nothing going on, of course, you won't really work those sites, but that's more if you want to uh, work on your own shit. You can do this. Three days you work on your computer, on your business. Two days you work at certain events and places to make contacts. You could get paid $20 just to work on your own things. L let that sink in. A lot of guys out here work jobs they fucking hate. And uh, I'm gonna be honest, sometimes security can suck. If you get, if you get stuck with a shitty post that's outside and it's raining or inside and there's lots of people around so you can't work on your own stuff. Yeah, that can suck, obviously. That's not your goal. Speaking from personal experience, I've had many shifts where I wanted to work inside so I can work on my own shit and move, make progress on my own stuff. And uh, it found out that I had to stand up the entire time. It sucks, but what do you want? But I'm not complaining. This is a great fucking job. In terms of your freedom, finances, three birds with one stone. You make money, you work on your own shit, and you have lots of free time. So let me know, guys. Are any of you guys working security? Look into it. I highly fucking recommend you go and look into it. It is very fucking useful. It's like one of those life hacks that no one talks about. You can make so many good memories. You can go to events and see stuff happening. Crazy events, clubs, parties, influencers, celebrities, whatever. It's very interesting. It's fun. You have the choice. It's not so fucking tedious and repetitive like most of the fucking jobs out there. I'm someone who can't stand repetitiveness. A jobs or stuff or taking orders from someone that's another beauty about working in security when you're working by yourself sure you have a boss you have to call or you have to take notes you have to watch over cameras you have to call police if something happens but really you're deciding what's going to happen you're the one who's responsible no one's telling you what the fuck to do and complaining and nagging your fucking ear the entire time 
if you didn't scan enough articles inside a freaking warehouse or something. If you're going at your own speed, then all you have to do some, most of the time if you're working in buildings and working on entrances is do a little tour, walk around the building once every one to two hours. That means in between you have two hours to yourself to do whatever you want. If you ask me, that is a fucking amazing hack. If you want to work on your own shit, or you just want an easy job. You don't have to work life on hard mode, guys. You don't. I, for one, like working smart way. Hard, smart. Not suffering. There's a difference between working suffering jobs and hard but smart jobs. Security, you have the freedom. And that is something I value a lot. So, think about it. What do you think of my situation? Of my argument, my bad. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Have you tried security before? Or any of you guys doing that yourselves? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, with that being said, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. You know I fucking appreciate it. And with that being said, take care of your chosen wisely. Drew yourself out.